Hi guys, welcome to Mario Master 101, and today I am going to be reacting to something I should have reacted to about a month ago, but I'm a late person, so I didn't do this. I had so much stuff I needed to do, but I never even had the time to do this, but you might not even think that you might already know everything and stuff like that, you probably already do, and you're probably mad at me for being so dang late to this. But I reacted to every other partner showcase except this one. So obviously I have to react to it. Please do not be mad at me. I did not expect this to be so dang late. But yeah. Anyway, let's react to it. Yeah, I'm sorry that it took so dang long. Please note, due to COVID-19 releases and other information presented in this video, subject change for potential updates, please check the official Nintendo website and social media channels as well as those of our other <laughs> public... Yeah, I messed it up again. I messed it up again. I messed it up again. Welcome to our last Nintendo Direct Mini Partner Showcase last of the one. Year. Today... We'll continue delivering the latest information on games from our publishing and development partners. Why is this last one? First, here's an update on the latest installment in the Bravely series from Square Enix, Bravely Default 2. Actually. Please take a look. You are finished, Hero of Light. I am a Hero of Light no longer. Come. The bravery of one must be the bravery of all. Don't worry. We'll do what you need us to do. Well, whatever's going on, there's no turning back now. All right. We've got a world to save. Ooh, yeah. You've got to love the sad ones. And I can't let that happen. He's all I have. Protect! 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 What have I done? It'll be time for you to wake up soon. <laughs> What does that mean? You must find that out for yourself. And that can mean only one thing. Thou art one of us. A hero of light. Four heroes Most guided funny. by the I'm crystals are united there. on the continent of yeah, Exilent, where an unforgettable adventure brings I'm them so face I'm to face with a I'm host of colorful characters. Your fairies, aren't you? Princess, I take what I want, and no one can stop me. Oh, and not stop the inevitable. Some drunk I made up. Let's meet some of the asterisk holders our heroes will encounter and learn a little more about each of their jobs. Yeah, we're going to see how many of the these Vanguard are asterisk. Asterisk. Vanguards like Dog take advantage oh, of their I stout exactly defenses in order to protect stupid. allies. They could also they could deliver the devastating oh, blows the using their shields. Orpheus, bearer of the Bard Asterisk. Can you even imagine it? Bards are talented musicians whose melodies can both help allies and hinder enemies. Many of their abilities affect multiple targets, making their presence on the battlefield crucial. Anyhow, bearer of the Beastmaster Asterisk. Analysis, I have to stop you. Beastmasters have the power to summon and control monstrous creatures. They can also use their skills to capture monsters to fight alongside them during battle. Surely, bearer of the Gambler Asterisk. Then either anti or poor run along. Gamblers tend to have luck on their side, but are also prone to pushing it, risking everything for a moment's glory. Be careful, however. The wheel won't always spin in their favor. These are just some of the characters you'll meet in the early stages of the game. We'll be introducing more asterisk holders in the future, so please stay tuned. When does this game come out? We asked fans to provide feedback on the demo released in March 2020, and we received over 20,000 responses to our survey. 
Fans mentioned the difficulty level and the controls in particular, so we're now focused on making those adjustments. A video summarizing the changes that have been made based on the feedback will be posted soon on the official Nintendo YouTube channel. I might react to that if you guys want. And finally, Bravely Default 2 will launch on February 26th, 2021. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. We hope you're looking forward to seeing Our four heroes begin their adventure. Four heroes begin their adventure. All right, let's get into the headlines. Cultivate your farm and your life. Long ago, your pioneering grandfather and his friends founded the charming community of Olive Town. You've always dreamed of living there. decided to take over your grandfather's farm. You leave your old life and the city behind to start afresh in Olive Town. But what awaits you there is a vast, overgrown and untamed forest. They like animal crossing. Cultivate your farm from the ground up in the latest Story of Seasons adventure. Chop down the mini trees that blanket your land and clear space for your fields. Yeah, I know. Along the way, you'll discover all sorts of flora and fauna in the forest. You might even come across a rundown facilities. Get fruit and vegetable seeds to grow on your farm, and tame wild livestock that can be nurtured, raised, and given homes. As you cultivate your farm, you'll be able to do more and discover new places to mine, fish, and forage. Will you sow fields as far as the eye can see? Or construct a massive ranch with lots of barns and coops? Your farm layout is completely up to you. And if you're looking to socialize, why not get to know the locals? Nurture your relationships, and wedding bells might be in your future. Your farm life awaits the story of seeds, pioneers of Olive Town, cropping up on Nintendo Switch, March 23rd. I wonder if I can none of these things. Survive and thrive in a post-apocalyptic future. I'm not complaining. Obviously, this is better, but I'm just, I'm just actually. We inherited a wasteland. Wasteland. Uncharted lands of dead soil and barren rivers. Uniting together was our only option. <laughs> Slowly, we started to pick up the pieces. Pick up pieces. We built a new home. I a safe haven a in a hostile a world. world. A place where we could start over on a clean slate. Where we would set the rules and choose our own path. Surviving the aftermath, spring to heaven. The fate of the Greek gods rests in your hands. From Ubisoft, a brand new open world game based on the world of Greek mythology. As Phoenix, you'll explore a vast fantasy world filled with gods and monsters alike. My premiere this might not. Run, swim, climb, not. ride horses, and soar across the sky. Oh, no, it really depends. I'll probably ask on my Discord. Clash with Titans using three weapons. A sword for quick hits. An axe for devastating blows. This is my video. And a bow for long-range shots. my Discord Change weapons on the fly and change powerful attacks in fast-paced combat. By solving challenging puzzles, you'll be gifted with new abilities from the gods. 
adding variety and versatility to your arsenal. You can also upgrade armor and acquire new skills, giving you complete customization freedom. With deadly battles against legendary creatures, grand encounters with mighty gods in the horizon, a new legend is waiting to be told. Fulfill your destiny when Immortals Phoenix Rising launches on Nintendo Switch December 3rd. Pre orders begin today. Pre order is almost Here's a sneak peek at some upcoming Nintendo Switch games. Fear strategy plus epic action equals Bakugan. It's up to you to build the best team and duke it out in high energy battles. You can also compete online in head to head multiplayer. Become the ultimate champion in Bakugan Champions of Destroya. Coming exclusively to Nintendo Switch November 3rd. How are your negotiating skills? You'll need them in Griftlands Nintendo Switch Edition, a deck building roguelike game. Or you can always let your fists do the talking. Every decision matters in each playthrough, whether it's the jobs you take, the friends you make, or the cards you collect. Explore this gritty sci fi world on Nintendo Switch Summer 2021. El Presidente is back. The fate of your island is in your hands. Build and rule your island nation on large archipelagos. Take care of your subjects' needs and send agents to steal world monuments. Tropico 6 lands on Nintendo Switch November 6. Pre orders begin today. The Ruthless Agent 47 returns. Deadlier than ever. Let me know if you want me to play Age of Calamity. Also, let me know if, I, if you want me to play Pikmin 3. I might get Pikmin 3. Oh, no, though. I might get Pikmin 3 and Age of Calamity. I might play, start to play through the All-Stars, because I haven't even played through the All-Stars yet. Like, what kind of person is Mario Master in one? I thought he was a Mario Master. Don't get your stupid slogan. The slogan is not stupid, but the stupid part is Corruption is everywhere. Can you regain control? <coughs> They'll try to stop me. But I'm stronger than them. We're stronger. I know what I must do. I'm the director of the Federal Bureau of Control. We're in this together. After that, I held it off for like two weeks because the thing, when I tried to record it, it wouldn't record. But now, Luckily, it's working. Get your fiend katana ready. Get your fiend katana. Oh, my stomach hurts. I need a toilet. Perfect location. Hey, gamers. Today's title is No More Heroes 3. The hero in the middle of the action is Travis Touchdown, the legendary assassin who has twice claimed the number one spot in the assassin rankings. In the new No More Heroes 3, what was once a fight between assassins is now a battle to the death on a galactic scale. Gamers have but one goal. Just destroy all those nasty aliens. Now, fight. Even if you haven't played the prequels, it's awesome. But it's even more awesome if you play the prequels first. Welcome to the Garden of Madness. Bring it on. I'll give you a little kiss. I'm not gonna lie, I actually expect for about to What? You got news? Does it have to be like now? For reals? The first No More Heroes is getting ported to Nintendo Switch! Hell yeah! Whoa! No 
Our hero's two desperate struggle is coming to the switch, too. Wins a draw. And she... We're just about to wrap up this Nintendo Direct Mini Partner Showcase. Oh, but before we no, go, we have one. two more titles to talk about from our partners at HAL Laboratory and Koei Tecmo Games. Hey, HAL Laboratory. Perform all sorts of odd jobs as a UFO. is simple. Help people. Help people. Use your trusty claw to grab, carry, and stack objects. From arranging sweets to fishing to building a castle, you'll perform all sorts of part-time jobs. You can finish a job by carrying objects and stacking them, but depending on certain factors, like how you stack them, you might be able to get a higher score. The background song is like... Additionally, by passing a Joy-Con controller to a friend, you can perform jobs together. Besides taking on part-time work, there are other modes you can enjoy, including exploring ruins filled with treasure, stacking objects as high as you can, and more. Help the people of this world as a UFO. Part-time UFO launches on Nintendo Switch today. Check. Rule one: The researcher's code is to never give up. Above all else, your duty is of the utmost importance. Any Nintendo franchise, I'm just glad. I I've said enough. The time has come to show you what I'm made of. I guess I'll put like a part two to this, maybe. But Hyrule Warriors: Age of Calamity, a story of the great calamity that occurred 100 years before the Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild game. This game launches soon, but if you're ready to protect Hyrule, a demo will be available today. In the demo, you can play all of Chapter One and carry over save data to the full game once purchased. Start defending the kingdom with the demo available today. Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity will launch on November 20th. That concludes our last Nintendo Direct Mini Partner Showcase of the Year. Thank you for watching. Bye!
next year. I meant to say next year. I'm sorry, guys. Hopefully you have that next year, and I will see all of you guys later. And bye, Partner Showcase. Hopefully you come back next year, and goodbye.